all right so as you can see this is Dell Optiplex 3080 one of the decent mini CPU unit from Dell unfortunately this one doesn't have the Windows system so today I'm going to install Windows 11 on it this machine does have TPM 2.0 version so it's going to take correct Windows 11 setup from the requirement so first of all make sure you do have the correct bootable Windows 11 thumb drive okay if you don't know how to create one then you can check the video link could be in the description alright so I created already this is the one uh, this one 16 gig USB I used the to create the right Windows 11 installation drive so first of all make sure you do connect one of them into the USB port and then we'll change some potential changes into the BIOS and then the system would take Windows 11 without any issues all right so first of all make sure the system is turned off and then press the power button and immediately we need to keep pressing F2 thanks to Dell because they always kept unique to get into BIOS F2 is the only one button for almost every single Dell so there are a few settings that we need to focus on the first of all the boot sequence from the general section as you can see it has to be like that and then second one is UEFI boot path security there are two options that you can choose either always the second one or if you have confusion then you can choose the never okay so I'm gonna keep it as it is and then third one would be in the system configuration which is called USB configuration has to be enabled otherwise the bootable USB thumb drive wouldn't be readable from the BIOS okay so once it's done then we're gonna go into security in the security section we're gonna find TPM 2.0 all right so this one does have the highest version which is 2.0 so it would take Windows 11 without any issues so make sure that is enabled and then upper two options should be fine so make sure if this is disabled you turn into enable and then the last option is secure boot okay the secure boot has to be enabled as well almost every single laptop or desktop if you do settings in that way either that is Dell or something else it would take Windows 11 without any issues once this is done we're gonna save it and we'll restart the system let's say apply press ok exit it and keep pressing F12 while the system restart all right here we go so the second option is my USB I'm going to choose that one and hit enter once I do that it's going to start up it will take a little bit of time to get into the actual USB boot and all should be fine sometimes I got a lot of comments about this model they said when they try to install Windows 10 or 11 when they get into the settings it did not show any internal hard drive or SSD existence in there okay so from here as you know whatever you need to choose you're gonna choose it okay that's all fine I'm gonna hit next install now I'm gonna choose the terms and condition next as you can see the internal ssd it shows in here present in here many people had problem they said even there is 256 ssd but i was not able to get this in there okay it used to show blank the reason is might be it did not choose the correct bios settings into the settings okay so now i'm going to do a clean installation so I'm going to delete all the partition remember before you do that make sure if you do have any important data in there and if you want to save it then you have to back it up somewhere else so I'm going to press ok second one also delete ok next
Alright, so finally the Windows 11 installation already done as you can see is successfully finished. Okay, there are a few settings as I said. If you follow the procedure, you'd be able to install Windows 11, Windows 10 and also whatever you like. So still if you do have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section. And please, if you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share and likes. I hope I'll see you in the next one guys. Thanks for watching and bye for now.